Hey everybody, we are back for another edition of Sizzle Force Marketing Live. Happy Friday. Today we are going to talk about differentiating your company in a crowded market. Specifically, I am going to share with you four ways to differentiate your company in a crowded market. Four. Now there are so many different ways for you to do this. I, I mean, I cannot even tell you how many ways there are because there are so many, I can't count that high. But today I want to give you four ways to differentiate yourself because chances are, if you're like most of the business owners I talk with and work with, you are operating in a crowded marketplace. You just are. We all are. There's a lot of people out there that do similar things to what we do. And it's very easy to fall into the me too category, right? Me too, meaning we all kind of start to sound the same. And it, that is the, the fastest path to the death of your business is to sound the same as your competitors. Because when you sound the same as a consumer, the only thing left for you to compete on is price. And that is a very, very slippery slope because there's always somebody out there, especially now that we are in a, a time where global work is able to be done easier than ever. In other words, people can hire somebody in uh, the Philippines or India or whatnot to do the vast majority of many of the things that we have done previously on our own, but because uh, where they live is so much less expensive, they can charge a fraction of the price of what some of us might charge. So that being said, there is always, always somebody out there that's gonna undersell you. It's a horrible thing to compete on price. So knowing that, you absolutely positively have to differentiate your company. You have to know how you're different and you have to get really good at articulating how you're different. So again, right now I'm going to share with you four ways to differentiate your company in a crowded marketplace. And as always, I invite you to add your comments as I am sharing about this because I really want this to be helpful for you guys. So any questions you have, please go ahead and pop them up in the comments and I will respond to as many of them as I can while we're live here. And of course, after we um, are finished going live and we publish this, I'll continue to monitor the comments and respond to you as much as I can. All right, so let's jump in with a uh, few ways that you can differentiate yourself. Let's start with the first one. First one that we're gonna talk about is uh, creating a unique branded system. Okay, this is marketing lingo. Let me uh, put this into layman's terms. All of you guys have a system for what you do, right? There is a way that you go about helping your clients. Now, you may not even realize that you have a system, but you do have a system. I guarantee you, you do, because it's just the way that people operate. You may not have written it down, you may not have, you might not be marketing it at all, but there is a process that you typically go through every time you take on a new client and do a project. So, what we do in marketing land is we like to brand these systems, these processes, because they can become a very powerful differentiator that can absolutely make you stand out in a crowded marketplace. And that's what we all want, right? So um, let me give you a few examples of some very well-known people that brand processes all the time. And this will just go to show you how th this is so important and how powerful it can be. Uh, one of them is Dave Ramsey. I'm sure you guys have heard of Dame R Dave Ramsey. He helps people manage their money better, right? And, and 
get out of debt and all that good stuff. So Dave Ramsey has uh, a process called the seven baby steps to financial peace. Seven baby steps to financial peace, right? And in his process, he will walk his clients through these seven steps that he's identified that will get you to the end goal of financial peace, just like the name implies, right? Because he has branded this, now I, I don't know how unique the content actually is in this program, right? It, I haven't taken it, so I can't speak to that. Um, but is he saying something in these seven steps that you would not hear from another financial strategist? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. However, he has automatically differentiated himself because instead of just doing what everyone else is doing and, and not naming it, he's given it a name, okay? Now, it sounds kind of corny marketing tactic, I think, in some ways. All I can tell you is it works, and that's why all the big guys keep doing it over and over and over again. When you brand your process, it sets you apart. It makes it so you have something that your competitors cannot touch, right? Because if you brand your process, specifically if you trademark the name you come up with, nobody else can use that. You're the only person out there, the only company out there that gets to use this process and uh, talk about it and market it like that. So it automatically sets you apart. Uh, let me give you another example. Another guy that is famous for branding his processes is Tony Robbins, okay? Now, like him or hate him, I know people seem to have strong feelings on that guy. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's look at it from a marketing perspective. Tony Robbins uh, has uh, and a branded process called the Dickens, it's called, what is it called? The Dickens process. Um, I always wanna say the Dickens approach, but that's not right. It's the Dickens process. And it's something that he walks people through in his, I think it's called the Unleash the Power Within uh, program. It's like his three-day event, one of his three-day events. Those things when you get to walk on fire and all that good stuff. So. Um, he has his process called the Dickens process. And what he walks you through in that is breaking through your limiting beliefs. So if you just do a quick Google search on this, you will find that people say it changed their life. People talk about it all the time, that this was the most powerful thing I have ever done, ever learned, ever experienced, right? Well. Again, there's plenty of life coaches, personal professional development coaches that help people break through their limiting beliefs. However, Tony Robbins is the only one that does the Dickens process. Apparently he named that after something having to do with Charles Dickens and I think it's uh, a Christmas story where you talk about your past, your present, and your future. So yeah, the, the Dickens process, that's another one. Now, uh, there's a third one here. Let's talk about Franklin Covey, all right? And I'm not gonna go over the seven habits of highly effective people. What I actually wanna talk to you about is a process they developed called the four disciplines of execution, right? And in this, it's roadmaps to help people meet their critical goals. And again, they branded it for disciplines of execution, and it is a process they take uh, their community through to reach their critical goals. So you guys, do you see this? Do you see how these huge companies are branding their processes? There's so many of these out there. If you guys just start looking, you'll start seeing them everywhere you go. And Again, the reason they do this is because it works. It is such a powerful, powerful way to differentiate yourself from everybody else in the marketplace. So good morning, Nancy. I'm so glad you're here. Good morning, Terry. Welcome to the live. Um, we're gonna be talking today, in case you jumped in late, about four ways to differentiate your company in a crowded marketplace. 
So I just touched on the beginning of one where I was sharing about uh, creating a unique branded process and the power of that and why you need to do it. And we talked about three examples. We talked about Dave Ramsey and how he's doing it. We talked about Tony Robbins and how he does it and then Franklin Covey and how they do it. I have my own branded process, a sizzle action process. Uh, the way that I did mine, the word action is actually an acronym. And each of those letters, the A-C-T-I-O-N, stands for a different part of a seven step process that I have developed to help people create their marketing plans, right? Now, again, there are people out there that do some similar things but nobody else has the sizzle action program. Nobody. It's mine, it's only mine, and my competitors cannot touch it. So it's a great differentiator for me. You guys need a differentiator. You need uh, a unique branded system to become one of your powerful differentiators. Now, creating your unique branded system is not as hard as you may think it is. It's not as hard as it might sound. In fact, uh, in Sizzle Force Marketing Club, which is one of the products I have, it's a membership program. It's $47 to be a member for one month, and then you can continue your membership as long as you want, or you can join for a month and then bail, right? But we have all these different classes where I walk you through things. And one of the classes on there, the digital courses, is on how to create your unique branded system. And I walk you through it step by step how to do it. It, it does not have to be complicated. It does not have to be overwhelming. It does not have to be something that is left just to the Tony Robbins and Dave Ramseys of the world, right? This is something that small business owners, it doesn't matter if you're a solopreneur that's just you know bringing in an extra couple thousand dollars a month, or if you're on the six figure track, or if you're on the seven or eight figure track, right? Everybody can benefit from having a unique branded system. So if you don't have one yet, and you want to be walked through the process of creating one so that then you can say, that you have this powerful differentiator, you guys can go ahead and you can grab this, um, again, as a member of Sizzle Force Marketing Club. And you can access that if you just go to sizzleforceacademy.com, sizzleforceacademy.com. Um, when you get to that page, you'll see one of the products is called Sizzle Force Marketing Club. Click on that and it'll tell you all about what I offer in there and you'll be able to go ahead and, and enroll for 47 bucks today and create your unique branded system today. How cool would that be? How cool would that be to go to sleep tonight knowing that you now have a unique branded system? It is absolutely something that you can make happen today. It is not that hard. You just need to know the steps and that's what I walk you through. So that's number one. Let's talk about another way to differentiate yourself. Okay, uh, niching. Niching, niching, niching. Any of you guys that have hung around me long enough know that I am a huge believer in the power of niching. I honestly think it is the fastest path to doubling, tripling, sometimes quadrupling your income. I have helped so many of my clients niche, and as a result, their income has completely skyrocketed. And yours can too, right? So I can give you an example. Uh, when I worked with uh, one woman, her name is Kelly, and she owns uh, a company called the Center for Family Unity. Some of you guys might know her if you're in San Diego, kind of in my circle. Kelly is an incredible therapist, absolutely incredible therapist. And she has a, a team of other therapists that work in her company now. When I first met her, Kelly was a therapist that, you know, just your basic therapist. She was really good at what she did, but she didn't have a niche. She could work with anybody. She could work with marriage, family, uh, kids, whatever, right? And so in a lot of ways, she was just another me too, right? Just another me too therapist in a sea of therapists in this area or in 
any area really there's a gazillion therapists everywhere right because a lot of us are messed up and we we need help so when I first met Kelly and she told me that I was like wow you know that's boring <laughs> to be one of a billion right you need to call out your specialty we need to figure out what it is that you do better than anybody else what are you really passionate about what do you dig in deep to and see the best results from when you're doing your work and as we work together we uncovered that she was really really dynamite at blended family counseling right now that is a niche it's one thing to say you're a marriage and family therapist and you can help anyone that's in a relationship issue, whether they're married or not, or, you know, they're having trouble with their kids or their teenagers, you know, whatever you want it to be. It's completely different when you say that you're a blended family therapist, because when a blended family is having trouble, who are they going to be more attracted to? The person that can help everybody or the person that specifically specializes in their situation? The fact is blended families have a unique set of problems, right? They have unique issues that are different than uh, a family that has always been together, a husband and wife that's always been together and their kids are together as opposed to from previous spouses or relationships or you know, even uh, foster care or adoption, right? Bringing in somebody that wasn't part of the original group and bringing them into the family, right? Blended families have some really unique needs. So they're very attracted to a blended family therapist. Well, we ended up defining this niche for Kelly and went gangbusters over it and before long, she was ranked at the top of Google for blended family counseling and therapy and all this stuff in San Diego. And um, she started writing a book. We're looking forward to that book getting published, hopefully sometime in the not too distant future. Um, but she really had a specialty that made her stand out. It totally differentiated her in this crowded marketplace. And you guys have that too. You have that too, you just have to uncover what your niche is. Now, and if you wanna call it a niche, that's fine, go for it. It doesn't really matter, niche or niche, <laughs> just do it, right? So, niching is really important for you. I can tell you, um, I have another client that I refer to often, um, her name is Rebecca. I've talked about her in a few different lives because we've worked together on a lot of stuff. But when I met Rebecca, originally she was just a life and business coach. And as a result of the work we did together, we identified her niche as being a Christian woman's life and business coach. Okay, Christian women entrepreneurs life and business coach. Sorry, I have to get my facts straight. As a result, her business completely blew up, right? It's very clear who she works with. There's no wondering and no longer is a man that's running, you know, some huge corporation that's an atheist going to be attracted to working with her because that's not her specialty. It's not her niche. And so what it does is it automatically attracts the people you're meant to work with. And most often it actually it repels people you're not supposed to work with. And sometimes when your company is on the smaller side, you think, oh gosh, well, I don't want to repel anybody. I just need to get some business. I need to get money in the door, right? And, and I get that. I get that. Sometimes you do have to do that. However, the sooner you niche, the sooner you differentiate yourself in the marketplace. And the sooner you differentiate, the sooner you're going to be able to command higher prices and you're going to stand out like nobody's business, okay? So, if you guys have not identified your niche, you absolutely absolutely need to do that, okay? Um, so, hello, hello, people. I'm so glad you're on. Welcome, Mary, now. I see you are here. Um, I see a few other people, so welcome. I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. So, um, niching, another way. So now we've got branding your unique branded system, okay? Create really, getting your methodology, your process 
defined, outlined, and named. And then we've got niching, okay? Second way to differentiate yourself powerfully. Okay, um, so Mary, you're saying, love your tips. Once I found my niche, business was better. That is awesome, Mary. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, we'd love to know what your niche is. So uh, feel free to throw a comment in there. And hey, why not link over to your site with your offering? Um, I'm all about helping you guys get as much visibility as I can. So if I can use my platform to help you grow your business, honestly, we both win. So Mary, have at it. Post a link and uh, tell us a little bit about your business and your niche. And maybe you'll get some new business out of this. See, this is the, this is the bonus for listening to these lives is you get visibility so I love it when people join live you get you get some great opportunities to um, really promote yourself so let's move on to another one another way to really powerfully differentiate yourself is to have an unexpected twist something that you do that's really different from what everyone expects you to do in your industry okay so let me give you an example uh, I don't know if they do this anymore, but I know a few years ago, every time you checked into a Doubletree hotel, they would give you a big, piping hot, deliciously warm and wonderful chocolate chip cookie. Okay, now, I just checked into a hotel room. I, what I'm expecting is that I'm gonna be greeted by the front desk that I'm going to give them my credit card, that they're going to give me a room key and tell me what my room is and send me on my way, right? I'm not expecting a warm, yummy chocolate chip cookie, but perhaps that's because it's part of my love language. I love chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> maybe a little too much, but when they handed me this cookie and they said, welcome to the Double Tree. Here, would you like a warm chocolate chip cookie? layered and delicious chocolatey goodness. I was like, holy moly, yes I would. Yes I would, okay? Instant differentiator and so inexpensive for them. How much does it cost for them to give out a chocolate chip cookie to everybody? Like next to nothing. But here I am I, several years later and I still remember it. I still remember the chocolate chip cookie. Now, speaking of chocolate chip cookies, there's <laughs> another cookie story that I have to share with you. And um, this was about a mobile notary, right? And I, again, this is a couple of years ago. I think I was really into cookies at this time in my life. So <laughs> I have like these memories etched in my brain. I'm trying not to eat as many cookies these days. But back in the day when I was a cookie fanatic, uh, there was a mobile notary who actually marketed herself as the chocolate chip cookie notary, right? And every time she came to your house or your place of business, she came with hot chocolate chip cookies she had just made. And it was just part of her signature, uh, her signature experience, right? Now, how awesome is that? Right, you're going about, you're just getting, you're signing your loan documents or whatever it is that you have to get notarized and somebody hands you a bunch of cookies. It's unexpected, it makes them stand out. It is a great way to differentiate yourself. If I go online and I type in mobile notary, I'm gonna get about 20 billion options, right? So I could just decide on price again, which is the big no-no, or I could look at maybe geographic location, who's closest to me. But when you say something like the chocolate chip notary, you're like, woo, let's do it. So welcome, Kelly. Yes, that is sweet, literally and figuratively. So um, let me tell you about another one. Um, hmm. I'm gonna tell you about my, uh, my friend, Marty. Marty is a friend of mine, but uh, when we started working together, she was a client of mine. And Marty is a hypnotherapist, right? She's really good at what she does. Um, one thing that she has made very clear in her marketing materials as a result of the work that we've done together is 
the fact that she has um, made hypnotherapy something that is I heard the exact words we use is no wheat crash no wheat grass no wind chimes right because a lot of times when people hear hypnotherapy they think woo woo weird you know new agey whatever right now if you're in that circle to you that's not a bad thing but if you're not in that circle it it like becomes like a repellent right you don't want anything to do with it because it sounds too weird and too out there so um with marty we started marketing her as the hypnotherapist that does not do wheatgrass and does not do wind chimes right her approach is all based around neuroscience and around brain imaging and so she takes a very scientific approach and it really makes her stand out she's very different from a lot of the woo woo hypnotherapists and she attracts uh, a client now that is a higher level client typically um, a very well educated client and typically a more affluent client as well so it's it's pretty powerful stuff. Um, Sheila Anderson, welcome, glad you're here. Um, I see a bunch of people popping on. I'm sorry I don't get to catch all of you guys, but each and every one of you whose names are popping up, it's awesome, I'm glad you're here, glad you're watching. So um, let me tell you another story about uh, somebody who delivered something unexpected. There's this woman named Rita, okay? It, uh, not too long ago, I was looking for a housekeeper, right? A new housekeeper because I hate cleaning. I just hate it. I love a clean house, but I hate cleaning it myself. And so I was looking for a new housekeeper. And I just put something up on Facebook. It's kind of what I do. Whenever I need a recommendation for something, I go to Facebook and I ask the people I know and love, you know, who do you recommend for this or that, right? So I put up this post and it said something like, hey, looking for a new housekeeper. Anybody have a good recommendation? I got 37 responses from people in my community, all telling me why their housekeeper was awesome, right? And I was like, wow, that's a lot of housekeepers out there. <laughs> Again, a sea of housekeepers, tons of competition for these housekeepers, right? So what's gonna make them stand out? Well, I got one comment from a woman named May who said, oh, you should check out Rita because Rita is an amazing housekeeper. I've had her for years, but she doesn't just clean your house. She also makes meatballs. I'm like, what? Say what? <laughs> so I continued the conversation because it caught my attention. I'm like, what is this about meatballs? Now, why right now? Let me just take a, a little bit of a sidetrack here. Why right now is all of these differentiators revolving around food? I mean, we've talked about cookies. Now we're talking about meatballs. I'll tell you the honest truth, it's because I'm hungry right now. It's 12 o'clock and I'm hungry. So bear with me, I hope you don't mind all the food examples. Your differentiator does not have to be about food. <laughs> I'm just hungry, so that's what's on my mind. So anyways, back to Rita. So I start talking with May, I'm like, okay, wait, talk to me about what is the, what are you talking about? Housekeeper, meatballs, how does this all work, right? And we're going back and forth through a private message in Facebook. And she tells me that Rita is from Italy and loves to cook. And so she comes to your house, she cleans, and then she often will bring meatballs or some other wonderful meal with her, or she might even cook it in your house, right? <sighs> I mean, can you guys hear the angels singing? Did you just see the heavens part? A housekeeper that actually cleans too, a housekeeper that leaves like delicious savory meatballs so not only do i not have to clean my house but now i don't have to worry about dinner like i mean come on now <laughs> does life get much better than that no i don't think so so you guys delivering the unexpected is a great way to differentiate yourself whether you're giving out cookies or you're making meatballs or you're just adding some other value on it sets you apart in a very crowded marketplace you need to come up with what you can deliver that's unexpected and then you need to get really really good at articulating that and sharing it with the marketplace okay you've got to be like shamelessly self-promoting that 
not in an arrogant like obnoxious way but in a way that's like hey look you really want to hire my mobile notary company because I bring you cook I bring you cookies or you really want to hire my um, I don't know whatever shoe shining company because every time you get your shoes shined with me I throw in new insoles or I, I don't know what it is right you guys all have something so I want you to think about that um, Kelly I know that you're listening right now and I just want you to know I talked about you earlier in this so if you missed it <laughs> you'll want to watch the replay because I talked about you and all your awesomeness and what you're doing with the Center for Family Unity so um, I want to tell you guys now about uh, one of my very very favorite niching stories there was this very disillusioned attorney right very disillusioned attorney who was very disappointed with his life this is the story right and um, just wasn't happy doing what he was doing and was looking for other alternatives uh, one day he was thinking about cupcakes yes cupcakes and it occurred to him how much he hated cupcakes and why did he hate cupcakes because cupcakes were super girly and he was super manly right so even though he loved the taste of cupcakes couldn't stand all the frilliness of them right and so he decided one day to go into his kitchen and start whipping up some new recipes for cupcakes and he wasn't going to make these the pink and purple frilly cupcakes with the little pearl beads on them or you know the little fluffy frosting things right he was going to make these cupcakes man cakes right so the first thing he did was instead of infusing the normal like buttercream filling or something like that in the cupcakes he threw in bacon bits yes stay with me if, if you're watching this and you're like oh my gosh I'm gonna vomit <laughs> well join the club right because it sounds highly gross to me however you know what I'll tell you there were a sea of men that were like yes bring it on bacon bit cupcakes this is like a dream come true right so he started giving them to some friends and whatnot people were raving and talking about the bacon bit cupcakes right then he got a little more daring and he started actually infusing whiskey into his cupcakes whiskey into cupcakes I don't know how that's done I don't know the science at all <laughs> that or how you make that work apparently I'm not that fancy in the kitchen um, but he started doing that okay now he added uh, another differentiator to this right as he continued developing these crazy man cake recipes right and making sure that these cupcakes looked very manly and did not look like freely girl stuff he really dug in deep with this brand and made it all very manly rumor has it that uh, he went from sharing these cupcakes with friends to selling them to before you knew it selling uh, for 48 bucks was the minimum order to get uh, a collection of cupcakes and he opened uh, some places in New York City where, so he had some stores in New York City where you could get them and because his idea was so different and you know kind of funny right and a little crazy little outlandish he ended up really attracting a ton of media attention now so what here's what he did to make the value of his brand even better he um, started delivering these cupcakes but when he when they were delivered it wasn't like your typical delivery where you know a, a woman comes to the door and ding dong here's your cupcakes right instead he had like this big butch tattooed strong scary looking dude deliver your cupcakes and they'd go bam 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 on your door <laughs> and then you'd answer the door the guy would go dude your cupcakes right <laughs> i think that is so fantastic what an amazing brand experience from beginning to end right the decorations were all manly the ingredients were all manly the delivery was manly so he got all this attention and notoriety ended up getting a reality TV show out of it he got a publisher to uh, uh, go ahead and make a recipe book for him open multiple locations I'm told and I, I mean that is like 
the ultimate example of niching and differentiating yourself in a crowded marketplace. So well done, Butch Bakery. All right, how are you guys doing? Is this stuff making sense to you? Is this making sense, like the opportunity that you have to differentiate yourself some different ways, right? So we've talked about uh, the unique branded system. We've talked about niching. We've talked about delivering the unexpected. And now I'm gonna talk about my fourth one for you right now. And this is creating an irresistible brand promise. This is another really great way to differentiate yourself. I um, always refer to this one example because I think this this is one of the best ones I've seen was what Domino's uh, said at one point in all of their marketing campaigns is um, we deliver pizza in 30 minutes or it's free. We deliver your pizza in 30 minutes or it's free. There is no question about what you're going to get, how long it's going to take, or what uh, you may or may not get if they don't meet their goal, right? If they don't meet their promise of delivering it in 30 minutes. It is so crystal clear. Now, they came out with this process and, and this, um, I should say this promise, when the marketplace was flooded with pizza delivery companies that took forever, right? Oh, okay, yeah, hi, I'd like to get a pepperoni pizza delivered. Oh, okay, that's gonna take an hour. It's gonna take 45 minutes. You know, if it's a night like Halloween was a few nights ago. Um, I know last year, my family, we tried to order pizza on Halloween and the wait was over two hours long, right? It's just a crummy pizza for crying out loud, right? Two hours long, right? Maybe if we had ordered from Domino's, it would have been 30 minutes or less and it would have been a differentiator. Now, I'm like super into brand loyalty and I have my favorite pizza company, so I didn't go with Domino's. But can you see how that differentiates them in the marketplace? And so somebody who really values time, who really, really does not have two hours to wait for their pizza, will be able to order from Domino's, would be more inclined to order from Domino's. And I will tell you this, Domino's is a far bigger company than the little neighborhood pizza joint that I usually go to, right? They make way more money, they're way more successful. So there you go. And I just realized it's another food reference. Now I'm <laughs> talking about pizza, I'm really hungry. Okay. So you guys, there's so many different ways to differentiate yourself, but this is four that I think are really powerful that you can start with. And the, these are not difficult things to do. Um, it just takes a little bit of brain power. And it's really helpful when you have somebody that can walk you through how to do this, because if you're not a marketer, if this isn't your zone of genius, it can be difficult to think outside of your own space. Like I always say writing your own marketing materials is like trying to lick your own ear. Okay. Like try it, try licking your own ear. Like, uh, <laughs> you can't do it because you're too darn close to your own ear. Right. It's the same thing often when it comes to branding your process or uh, creating your niche, identifying and then creating and articulating your niche. It's really hard to do it for yourself. You're just too close to it. So I do want to invite you guys to check out Sizzle Force Marketing Club. I have a class in there for you on creating your unique branded system, on creating your niche, and on um, creating your uh, brand promise. And that's just three of the classes that are in there. There's actually 16 other classes. And you guys can get access to that today for just $47 kind of a no-brainer, really. And I walk you through it, and I have all these fancy worksheets that you you grab the worksheet, and then you watch a video training, and you have everything you need, and by the time you're done with that class, you have your branded promise. You have your niche figured out. You have all this stuff. Now, I, I really, I purposefully designed these classes so that um, you would be able to take them and do them on your own, right? But I know sometimes people feel like they just want to talk through this stuff with an expert. They want another voice on the phone um, or in person to work with them. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, 
I would love to help you at that level. There's a, an extra fee for that, but if you're interested in that, absolutely ask me and we can talk about how we can make that happen. So I hope this has been real helpful for you guys. I think that um, when you guys start the process of really working through what makes you different in the marketplace, it's gonna give you a lot of confidence it's gonna give you clarity going through these exercises. And because you're confident in the marketplace, because you're able to articulate your value better, you're gonna make more money. You're gonna attract more business. You're gonna attract higher level business. You're gonna be able to charge more. You're gonna make more. I mean, the benefits are really endless. So simple exercises, simple things you can do, simple tweaks that have a really big payoff. So there you go, you guys. Um, Kelly, thank you for that uh, awesome testimonial there. I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Happy Friday. I hope this helps you sizzle on and please remember, come back next Friday, every Friday at noon, we do another edition of Sizzle Force Marketing Live. So signing off for now. Catch you next week.